In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use your recorder to find out what your network scheme is if you are unsure what to set your recorder to for an IP address. Or you can leave it on the DHCP or automatic mode for your recorder to get an IP address from your router. Now this is important if you're setting up your camera system over the network or if you just need to remotely view your system and you already have it set up on your network. So first we're going to right click, we're going to go to the main menu and you may be asked to log in using the graphical user password. I'm going to show you how to do that just in case you're unsure. So again I'm going to right click, click the main menu, I'm going to enter that password, it's just the graphical user password. And then in order to change the IP address on my recorder, I'm going to have to go down here to the network setting at the bottom left hand side of my screen. I'm going to click that. It should automatically take you to the TCP IP tab on the left hand side here. If it doesn't, then you're going to want to click on that tab here on the left hand side. Here we can see we do have a network port. It's also called a NIC. Um, it's NIC1. It's set to the default IP address from the factory, which is 192.168.1.108. Now, I'm not sure if my network is a 192.168.1.108. So what I'm going to do is click the Modify button over here on the right-hand side of this setting. I'm going to click that. It's going to bring up the settings for this network port. Here I can see there is a DHCP button, there's an IP version, MAC address, IP address, subnet mask, and default gateway. If I were an IT professional, I would know what my scheme is and be able to manually set my IP address here. However, I'm not an IT professional, so I'm going to go ahead and click this DHCP button. What that's going to do is tell my recorder to automatically get an IP address from my router. Now keep in mind, your router does have to have the setting enabled, but since it's 2021, uh, most routers will have that setting enabled. So I'm going to go ahead and click OK, and then I'm going to click the Apply button. As you can see down here, it also set the DNS settings to DHCP. Now some customers get confused when we tell them to enable DHCP, and they only enable in this place, or they see that this place is grayed out. So again, you do have to click this Modify button pencil icon here to get to this DHCP button. And when you enable this DHCP button, click OK, it will allow you to turn this on to DHCP as well. And I'm not go into what DNS is, and we can just leave it to DHCP, otherwise known as automatic. So again, I'm just going to click Apply here to make sure that it saved my settings. And I'm going to right click back out and go back into my network settings and see that I was able to get an IP address. Now you may, if you get a 0, .0, .0, 0.0.0.0 after clicking the back button and then going back into network, again, if you get a 0, .0, 0.0.0.0 here, what you may need to do is then go up to the top right hand side of your recorder. There is gonna be that door icon that I used to log out earlier, and then you'll see there will be a reboot button. Now you would wanna click this reboot button wait for your recorder to come back up, log back into it, click the network setting, and then come back into the TCP IP page and see that you did receive an IP address. Now I did set up my router to emulate what a Comcast router would look like. So again, if you have a Comcast router and you enabled DHCP, you would wanna see your first three kind of octets they're called of your IP address change from 192.168.1 to a 10.1.10 .10 IP address. So again, I went inside of my network settings, I enabled the DHCP button here, I clicked OK, I clicked Apply, then I clicked the Back button, and then I went back into my network settings. Hopefully this video helps you figure out what your network scheme is and it helps you set up the DHCP automatic address to get an IP address from your router. Thank you for watching.